Hey guys, it's Sneaky Whisper, and today I'm going to be showing you my folio edition of Mistress Masham's Repose by T.H. White, um, which is one of my favorite children's books ever, even though I'm technically a grown-up, and I do love reading, and I do often read adult books, I still have a really um, great love for children's literature. And this is an awesome edition that I picked up at the Strand here in New York um, for like $20. It was a real steal. So, first of all, we've got, of course, the map of Malplaquet. Um, here is the, um, here's the mansion. And then we've got over to the vicarage. The vicar is uh, is Maria's evil guardian. He's an evil vicar. Um, the lawn, Chestnut Avenue. Um, here are the two man-made lakes. Um, no, this one is known as the Quincunx by the Lilliputians who live on this island here. Um, the island of Mistress Masham's Repose, hence the name of the book. Um, there's a temple over here, the Jubilee Field, um, over here is to Monks Unmentionable Kamumble, um, the Wilderness, which only Maria can traverse because she's so small, um, and a variety of monuments and things where she has adventures, so, um, I'm going to be showing you the illustrations. The typesetting in here is also really beautiful. I'll be showing you some of that. Um, the first of many really gorgeous illustrations. Um, so here's the Queen Conx and Mistress Masham's Repose, the island with the little cupola um, that the Lilliputians live inside. And here is Malplaquet. List of illustrations by Charles Stewart. of a Lilliputian woman, um, and Maria has just sort of by accident stolen her baby. She's made it onto the island, and, uh, she's made it into the, into the, um, gazebo, and she's found a walnut on the ground, and when she looks into this half of a walnut shell, she sees that there's a tiny baby inside. And then this is the baby's mother who tries to attack her. Even though the woman is only like six, six inches tall. Um, so she makes friends with the Lilliputians. They tell her their story. So this is an illustration from that. You can see at the very bottom here are the Lilliputians dragging the, uh, the chest that they were, uh, that they were enslaved inside of. Um, so Maria makes friends with them. Um, meanwhile, Maria is an orphan, and this is her guardian, the evil vicar and um, Mrs. Brown, her governess, who is also evil. She and the vicar have a plot to steal Maria's fortune. And they're very sour people who never smile and never have any fun. Let's see. Um, this is 
a really beautiful illustration of a uh, barn owl. I think that's a barn owl. The ones that have the kind of creepy noses attacking a Lilliputian guy here at the bottom. Um, and uh, she explains that um, the Lilliputians tell her that because there are so many natural predators in the woods, um, the Lilliputian mothers have started having twins, which actually isn't biologically sound logic, but um, we will forgive T.H. White. All right. So Maria gets locked up in her room because her governess, Mrs. Brown, um, realizes that something is up. She doesn't know that it's little people. She thinks that Maria has discovered her hidden um, fortune. And so she's locked her in her room until she, until she squeals. Um, but uh, no fear because the Lilliputians have come to rescue her. Let's see. And there is an entire army of Lilliputians then waiting to rescue her, and uh, and they are willing to attack Mrs. Brown and the vicar. This is the professor. I haven't mentioned the professor yet. The professor is Maria's best and kind of only friend. He's um, impoverished and he lives in this little cottage on the grounds. And he's a, a Latin professor and he in fact is illiterate except for ancient Latin. So um, he, uh, and throughout the entire book he's on this quest to figure out the correct translation of the word trifarium, and uh, I think he does eventually in the end, but here he is getting lost in thought while he was supposed to be chopping firewood in front of one of the many monuments. Um, so, the vicar and Miss Brown are having a very, very joyless tea in front of the fire, and Miss Brown, I think, is eating chocolates um, that were sent to Maria by some distant uncle she has, who always sends her a box of chocolates, and, um, and Mrs. Brown uh, always bakes them in the oven, saying that it's because she wants to make sure that there are no germs, but then of course it just melts the chocolates, and she does it because she's sadistic, and she just wants to torture Maria by telling her, oh, you can have these nice things, but for your own good, I'm going to bake them in the oven first. But here she's just actually eating them outright. Here, um, Maria has been, uh, she, she and the professor were locked in a dungeon and then managed to escape. And, um, and then the professor runs off to get, um, the, we, the captain, the police captain. And, or this is the police captain and his wife and someone else. <laughs> I did some. Oh, the, he's the Lord Lieutenant. Yeah. So they're, they're a pretty ragtag crew going to save Maria. And then the final, the final color plate is um, there's been a trial. The fortune has been found. And uh, they've won. And, um, or no, maybe how the fortune hasn't, I don't remember the order of things, but I mean, the ending is happy for everybody, but, um, the professor and Maria 
are riding back to Mount Plackett on the professor's tricycle because he has like a, an adult sized tricycle for some reason and it's in the middle of the winter, it's, it's Christmas and they go through the Arc de Triomphe and there's this little like convoy, envoy collection, I, I don't remember, of, uh, of Lilliputians waiting for them to come in and uh, it says, Welcome home, a loyal greeting from Lilliput to their Maria and to her erudite friend, Wainy Weedy Wiki, Seek Semper Tyrannis. And that's it. So, uh, I hope you enjoyed this brief tour of the folio edition of Mistress Masham's Repose, and maybe I'll also show you sometime my folio edition of Rudyard Kipling's The Jungle Book, which has the most amazing color plates you've ever seen. Thank you very much. Goodbye.